Our mission is to provoke discovery through visceral experience and pervasive play. And so that discovery can be any number of things depending on the application, whether it's for a client or an independent project. Jeff Hull is the director of Games of Nonchalance, a hybrid art studio with expertise in situational design. Submarine Channel met with Jeff at Picnic, an annual event dedicated to innovative ideas for business, people and society in Amsterdam. Jeff's company created the Shijun Institute, an immersive game set in San Francisco, in which the players discover new sides of the city while being absorbed in an epic fantasy full of imaginary institutions and characters. Inconspicuously and subtly, the clues present themselves. A trail of crumbs, a peculiar scavenger hunt, an instant message offering a code, unlocking a map leading to a key to a hidden lockbox containing a rare coin which purchases some magic beans which when watered grow into an interweaving storyline until you are immersed. You become an agent um, given license to explore the urban environment in both public and private places and uh, we placed a number of micro installations around the city for these people to discover um, and those led the player to uh, lock boxes within lock boxes, to uh, encryption codes, to unlock websites, to pirate radio broadcasts, to a uh, fictional foreign currency that would buy uh, maps and artifacts in the game. And um, all of those experiences culminated in uh, the game really reaching out to the participant. The more involved the players become, the more the game would reach out to them and give them very nuanced, niche, personalized experiences. Trapdoors and side hatches are opening all around you. As you open your eyes, the clues appear. They exist everywhere to help you, the curious dilettante, explore the deep forests of San Francisco in ways never before known, never before experienced. It's not a competitive game in the traditional sense. We're more interested in collaborative experiences. And uh, to do that, we aim to re-engineer the way that audiences interact with media and the space around them and with each other. And uh, those are our goals. And so the personal goals of the player, um, as many different players as you ask, there's probably as many different motivations. Um, but I think they want to engage in something more deeply. They're curious. They want to uh, bring back a sense of play to their life where they may have sacrificed that at some point. And um, there's also an element of community building. People really develop relationships through gameplay as well. What is Octavio Coleman Esquire planning? What happened to Avril and Lucian? Is it all just a game? Is it all just for fun? I'm sure I don't know. What are we really sanctioned to do in uh, our society besides, you know, go home, go to work, maybe go shopping, drink a latte, but other activities are somehow suspect. Whether you're gonna gather in a group of people, whether you're gonna explore a certain way, whether you're gonna create some artwork, or, uh, you know, these things um, generally aren't, uh, we don't have permission to do those things uh, in day-to-day -day life and uh, we want to offer permission for people to do those things and more. <laughs>